Hello, welcome to this week's episode of the Pull List Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at my top three picks that I am looking forward to reading when it comes to New Comic Book Wednesday. And New Comic Book Wednesday this week is going to be November 23rd, 2022. As we head into the holiday weekend for Thanksgiving, there is a huge pull list this week. I don't know what's going on with the companies, but there are a ton of comics coming out this week. Big week for Star Wars. It's a couple new titles being released, including Star Wars Revelations. With that said, take a look at my full pull list that's described in the description for this video below and you'll see all the titles I'm planning on picking up this week. The other unique thing about this week is I don't have any Marvel or DC titles on my top three. I think that may be a first of all my episodes from the past year. So let's take a look at those top three choices right now. Starting off this week with number three is going to be the title, What's the Furthest Place From Here? Issue number eight from Image Comics. This series has been out for a while. I don't remember when the last issue, issue number seven came out, but we're kicking it off again with this issue number eight. I think it's a new arc and the description online is saying that it has some type of origin story that's gonna kick off. So maybe we'll finally get some of that backstory that explains some of these weird creatures that are showing up and also why there's no adults around. This title is very interesting. It's kind of this futuristic horror genre and it has captured my interest and I keep reading it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with this week. And at number two this week, we've got 8 Billion Genies, issue number six, also from Image Comics. This series has been so fun to read. If you haven't picked up 8 Billion Genies, I would highly recommend going out and picking up some of the third and fourth prints. It's been reprinted so much because there's been so much interest in the title. You can probably find all of the first uh, five issues and maybe it'll be going to trade soon. Not sure, but check it out. It's been a really fun read. It's written by Charles Soule and I know Charles Soule from a Star Wars background and haven't read his other titles and I apparently have been missing out because this has been such a cool thing. Uh, the idea and concept that he's come up with is just really fun that there's genies all over the earth granting wishes and basically humanity uses it to destroy everything that they know. <laughs> it's, it's just interesting to see what the decisions uh, are being, what kind of decisions are being made by people. So anyways, check this out, 8 Billion Genies issue number six. And at number one this week, we've got Mindset, issue number five. This is the Zach Kaplan story that I've talked about in many of my prior episodes. This story is a sci-fi genre with some interesting twists that are happening with the plot, but it, I don't wanna give too many spoilers away, but the high level I can give you is these college grads end up writing an app that actually is able to incorporate true mind control and they start to take control of people through their app and what kind of choices they make after that you have to read the comic to find out but hey i think the series is coming to a close soon i'm not sure if this is the last issue or if there's uh, one or two more but really if you haven't checked out mindset go check it out uh, it's a really cool series to read also zach kaplan has another series going right now called forever forward uh, that's over at scout comics this one's done by vault comics but either way pick up some zach kaplan comics i don't think you'll be disappointed I don't have any comics that I'm dropping off my pull list this week, so I don't have a segment to talk about that, but I will say, with how big the pull list is this week, I may have to, for budgetary reasons, start dropping some things, so look out in the future for my segment called Drop It Like It's Cold when I decide to drop things off my pull list. With that said, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Pull List Examiner. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and remember to read them, bag them, and board them. See ya.